Hey, what's up? Phil here with the Photography Masterclass and Video School Online, and today I'm going on another photo adventure. I'm taking out my drone to a little park near me, just waiting for the drone to charge up, and we're gonna head out and see what we can get. All right, so I just got to the park where I'm going to scope it out to see what types of shots I want to get. And just so that you can kind of understand what I'm looking for when I was looking for a place. Well, first I looked at the DJI Go map and the uh, Before You Fly website to make sure that I wasn't within five miles of an airport. It's surprising, at least in Southern California, that there's so many little airports that you really only have a few pockets where you're able to fly. So here I'm at the park. I was also looking for a spot where I don't know, just something interesting. I, I did, I've did i never been here before, so I'm not exactly sure what it's gonna look like. I've realized that maybe some symmetrical shots looking down at the park would be kind of interesting. There's also a trail that goes up behind the park, and so I'm gonna probably start out going up that trail. Good thing I brought my hiking boots. And I think beyond the hill is more some just open nature area. It's right next to a bunch of houses, so I don't want to be flying in over the houses, but it might be a kind of cool shot if I get up high and kind of compare and contrast the neighborhood and the houses to nature. Anyways, that's what I'm thinking, but with drone shots, you never really know until you get up there, so uh, let's go and check it out. There's some basketball and tennis courts ahead too, so another good sign for trying to capture that sort of symmetry. So it's definitely a little bit of a workout to get up here, but uh, it's a nice little kind of quiet area where we can launch the drone. I didn't want to be too close to everyone. You know, drones are awesome, but I can totally understand that a lot of people think drones are annoying. And so I didn't want to call too much attention to myself. So I <laughs> did a little bit of hiking and uh, I think this is going to be a perfect spot to to launch from. You know, one of the rules in uh, the States at least is that you have to be able to have the drone in your sight line. And so I think from up here I'll be able to see it while I get some shots over the park and then also behind me where the wilderness area is. There's even some, a couple water towers. You know, here in the States, at least in California, we don't have those epic sort of buildings and architecture that you might find uh, all around the world where civilizations have been there for longer uh, and I just remember being in Europe myself and you know every corner you turn there's a cool building that would be the perfect shot so I guess I'm gonna see if these uh, water towers are interesting at all uh, but let's get the drone all set up and then we're gonna take off <laughs> So I started out by flying over the baseball fields and got a couple shots, one from abo above and then flipping around and getting a shot at the other angle, trying to just match up different textures and lines. These weren't some of my favorite shots though, so I quickly moved away to over near the basketball court and the tennis court. I figured I would get some cool shots over here with the different textures and you'll see the first shot coming up. I really like this shot with the different colors, the parking lot that bends over on the right, you've got the wilderness area on the left. And then I went in for some closer up shots to get more of those interesting shapes. I edited this to boost the colors. I thought this was really interesting. And I love that there was some action on the court to see players actually playing basketball. I went over to the tennis court. I didn't want to get too low, so I stayed up a little high and got the two courts next to each other. Then I flew over to some water towers in the distance, thinking that would be a cool sort of subject in the photo. As I went over there, I took a couple shots of the neighborhood, and they were interesting in terms of the composition, the just design, and the pattern of the streets, but the lighting wasn't great. It was cloudy, and I think it would have been much better at golden hour at sunset because the sun would have been going off in the distance beyond that horizon. Now, altitude reached. Maximum flight altitude. All right, so that was okay, but I'm gonna head back uh, towards me now, and uh, we're gonna get this shot, maybe with some of that sort of open space behind me. <laughs> I 
and as I'm flying over this way I realize there are some water towers right behind me that are a lot closer and might be a little bit more interesting. All right, so I'm above these water towers really, and they're really cool. I can't go much higher, but I think if I go a little bit lower, I can kind of fill the frame with this water tower. Okay, cool. So those water towers were pretty cool. Now I'm just gonna try to get that shot I was kind of thinking might be cool with uh, the, the houses and the nature right next to each other. Low battery warning told me to come back home. I was having a lot of fun getting into the zone after I tried to get that shot uh, with the neighborhood and the wilderness. It just didn't work out. It wasn't as cool as I thought it was going to be. And I was getting a little bit too far and I was barely able to see the drone. So I brought it back. And so the next shot I got, which was kind of cool, was over a little roundabout in the parking lot. So just looking for those lines, those shapes, those things that you can put into your image and capture, getting that sort of interesting textures and things like that. Anyways, I hope that I've been able to inspire you and help you a little bit in terms of thinking about how you can get better shots compositionally, subject-wise, even if you live in suburbia like me and it's kind of hard to find something that's really, really interesting. Sometimes it takes just getting out there, getting up in the sky and seeing what you see from the air. Anyways, thanks so much for watching and as always, like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you want more videos like this, these sort of photo style adventures, let us know in the comments so that we know people are interested in them. Thanks a lot and see you later.